after. Uh, a sequence is any uh, set of numbers that kind of has some type of pattern to follow. So a term we've learned is just one unit within a whole uh, sequence of others. A finite sequence is a sequence that comes to an end, so it has an end. An infinite sequence does not have an end. So if you think about the counting numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's an infinite sequence because there's no stopping place to it. Um, a finite secret, uh, sequence might be, um, say, like growing up, if you had to do homework problems two through ten evens, that's finite because it has a start, a number two, and an ending place, a number ten. Something like that would be finite. Recursive means uh, that you can find the next term by adding the previous terms together. And explicit is means uh, there's a formula, so you can just automatically find like a hundredth term if you need that. The Fibonacci sequence is kind of like a recursive, but it's like doubly recursive, so it adds previous, a few previous values to find the next one. Converge means it's going toward the number, and diverge means it's going towards infinity or negative infinity. All right, so that's how we're going to start with those, and series kind of follows the same thing. You'll see the difference in the sequence in the series here in a little while. So here, uh, let's start with example one. Find the next four terms of the sequence. Now, as you can see, what's happening every time is it appears that it's being subtracted by four units. Every time we're subtracted by four. Now, since that's the case, we know what the rule is. This would be called a recursive because we know we just need to subtract four from the previous term. So the next, four, the next term, if we subtracted four more, would be negative 13, followed by, if we subtracted four more, negative 17, then negative 21, followed by negative 25. These would be the values for uh, the sequence, the next four terms of that sequence. All right, now let's look at part B. Let's find the next ones of this sequence. Here, we are, it looks like, subtracting by three every time. No, wait. This one's subtracting by five. No, wait. This one's subtracting by seven. Well, as you can see, this time it's not doing exactly the same thing, but we can see the pattern. So if this subtracted by three, this subtracted by seven, this excuse me, 5, then 7. The next one would subtract by 9. So 3 minus 9 would be negative 6, followed by, we would then need to subtract uh, by uh, 11. So we'd have negative 17. And then we'd subtract by 13, get negative 30. And then finally, we'd subtract by 15 and get negative 45. So that's how sequences and series work a lot, a lot along those lines. Um, here's one more. This is given a formula. Find the first four terms. Now, this would be an explicit formula. The other ones were recursive because you looked at the previous values. This one, you plug in values. So if I wanted to find the first term, I'd plug that in for n. The way you'd represent this is you'd say a sub 1. That means the first term. And then you plug in 1. So we'd have 1 cubed plus 1. Well, 1 cubed plus 1. 1 cubed is 1. Add one more. We have 2. The second term uh, would be 2 cubed, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 plus one more, so we would get nine. That's the second term. The third term would be three cubed, which is three times three times three, which is 27, plus one more gives us 28. And finally, the fourth term would be four times four times four, uh, which gives us 64. You add one more, you get 65. These would be the first four terms in this sequence. Now it's time for you to try this one. 